Hey friends, this is Asif for Pure Well and welcome to the new update on Lit Entry or Lit. In today's analysis, we will once again take a look at this big falling wedge pattern. And recently, on the smaller time frame, on this daily time frame, uh, unfortunately, Lit Entry has broken down the support of this symmetrical triangle. And in today's analysis, we will take a look at this move whether the price line is going to move more down from here or is it going to re-enter the triangle and break it out. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more ideas, you can also support me here at the Patreon because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis. And first of all, let me to uh, begin with my recent trade setup that I shared for my members at the Patreon. And that was a harmonic bullish reversal guardly move that Litentry completed on the daily time frame chart. And before that, I shared this bearish garlic and this time it formed the bullish garlic and previously it formed this bearish garlic that I shared I think back yes in in the month of June in the mid of June and this was uh, this idea was for the short position and this was our uh, short position zone or the reversal zone that was starting from 97 cents and goes to $1.07 and here we have our target zone that is at 85 cents and goes to point, uh, uh, 71.8 cents. And if I play this chart, then you can see that the price line nicely reversed back and hit the targets on here. You can see we had a slight long spike over there, but uh, the price line did not break it, down, break it out and move down and hit this target zone. And this is the recent trade setup that I shared. That is a garlic move. This is the bullish garlic and the previous one was the bearish garlic. And by the way, this is not the daily time frame chart. This is the two hour time frame chart with US dollar pair once again. And our buying zone was from uh, 97 cents and goes to 91.5 cents. And our sell targets were from $1.04 and goes to $1.12. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price line from this potential reversal zone uh, pumped very well. And after hitting this sell target, it is still moving here uh, between potential reversal zone and potential sell zone. Even moved down after that, after hitting those sell targets. Now, if we take a look at the live weekly time frame chart with US dollar pair, lit entry with US dollar pair, uh, then we can see that uh, it is again rejected by this resistance of a very big falling wedge pattern. And at the same time, it is also rejected by this key resistance of $1.15. And previously, this level has been breaking as a support here. And you can see it for the past several weeks or months, it has been, uh, it is uh, still breaking as a resistance. And after this $1.15, our next resistance will be here at $2, then $3.11 approximately. And then we will have the next resistance at six dollars here we we can see we have also formed a double top as well before this big drop that was the six dollar resistance and then we will have our final resistance and the target for this uh, falling wedge pattern as well that is at twelve dollar and fifty cents and to hit this target first uh the entry needs to break out this resistance of the wedge and then key resistance of one dollar and fifteen cents then we can expect that it will also break out the next resistance levels and hit this target now if we switch to the daily time frame chart here then we can see that recently lit entry has broken down the support of this a uh, very big uh, symmetrical triangle by the way let me show you the target uh, for this breakdown after this breakdown that we can uh, expect it's very down from here you can see that it is showing us the uh, projection in the negative uh, territory and it is not possible that the entry may go in the negative territory however if i place this trend line here at this spike of the candlestick then we can see uh here we also have a, another very strong support like previously the price line got uh, bounced from here and also had another bounce from here bounced here and bounced from here and here it also formed a double top here and moved down but could not break down the support in fact even after forming this double top it moved up again so this level has been breaking at the previous resistance and support levels therefore again it can break as a nice support and unless it will be not broken down we can expect that from here it can again start a reversal move and then it can re-enter the same triangle or maybe it will try to break it out 
And if we take a look at the bigger time frame, let me just uh, place this same trend line here at this uh, weekly time frame, then we can see even on the weekly time frame, it is showing us this level as a strong support because on the weekly candlesticks, you can see that uh, for the past several weeks, uh, it is not breaking down the support. Therefore, this support is very important. However, if it will be broken down, then I am not expecting it. And it is in fact not possible that it will go in the negative territory as uh, the, the breakdown from this triangle is showing us the projection to the downside. But the possibility will be that we may uh, retest uh, this support of a uh, big falling wedge pattern that will be approximately at 60 cents and then it will start the next re reversal move from here. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more ideas, you can also support me at the Patreon because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.